So, is TikTok destroying dance? Let's find out. So, if you don't know, there's this app called Clubhouse, and there's a dancer called Philip that goes by Pac Man, and he went on Clubhouse and started a conversation with other dancers, Hawk from the Crew Quest Crew, and ask the question Is TikTok destroying dance? Oh. So I've noticed <laughs> this guy. Don't worry about him. So I've noticed sixty-five percent of you guys have not subscribed yet. So I'm gonna wait here till you subscribe. And while I wait, I'm gonna make a TikTok. See that red button? You should subscribe. But serious question. If you're from Australia, does anyone actually know if Clubhouse is available in Australia? Because I got my I signed up, I got my text message verification, but I'm still waiting for it. Seriously though, help about that out. So Clubhouse video wasn't available for me to watch live. So uh luckily someone screen recorded the whole well an hour of the whole four hour conversation with philip and i watched that on youtube so shout out to that guy we'll those plug him in points waste one was professional dancers that have been training for years talking about them making their dance movies and not getting as much views and likes as much as a 10 second, 15 second TikTok video. I'm coming from a younger generation. I'm like 20 years old. And for me, it's raising the question a lot if like it's actually valid enough to put the time and energy to edit things and like actually create like dance films and things that's not gonna get that amount of hype as TikTok or that like huge platform as like a 10 second video that I can do some moves and maybe get like views and likes for it. But in my opinion, if you can't get the attention at 15 seconds, I can get the attention at a two minute video. And if you're doing a project dance, you're probably doing it for yourself. Another point was dance, dance influencers talking about the difference in pricing for a dancer with two million followers and let's say a travel influencer or a fashion influencer in payments and they had the same followers that was another big thing and that i agree with i think dancers are a big part of like marketing these days and should should really be getting paid more in in the industry in our industry, not a lot of people know about um, how much people are making, you know, and dancers, unfortunately, we usually get have gotten the short end of the stick. Um, even if you see somebody who has a million followers, uh, it's not the same as somebody who's a model that has a million followers or an actor who has a million followers, their pay grade is definitely very different. Um, and so a lot of people consider like, oh, they have all these following it it equates to them making a lot of money and it doesn't because we, we still have a pretty long way to go with that. <laughs> yes, I, Zach, I'm so glad you mentioned that because that was something I was going to mention almost immediately as well. Um, it's different when you live it. Um, but yeah, because on the public platform, the number can be almost identical. Um, you could have someone in radically different tiers of wealth um, with the exact same number. I mean, you can see that in every single uh, domain on, on, on social media, but definitely dancers are, I think are uh, weirdly equated um, to like large amounts of wealth when they get a lot of followers. When, I mean, I have very, very dear friends who- but That's just a dance community and getting together and just doing things like this, talking more about it and just finding solutions, which was great. But to wrap this up, my thoughts on TikTok, it's, it's great for a beginner dancer to build confidence at home because they have, it's like a community in itself to 
hype each other up to to do videos to post so i think that's great really and it it, it does teach a beginner the fundamentals of learning like choreography so you have to learn these dances and and do it to the beat so you're learning timing you're learning how to dance on the beat i think it's it's great yes it's obviously it's a start it, it, dancers should be using looking at this as it's a way for them after they see this they might really want to get into m more depth into a different types of dancing and it's up to the the dancers anyways to create content for TikTok. you don't have to do the dances you can do the popular dances and still do your style or be creative that's what dance is supposed to be you're supposed to be creative with it yes it it, it gets it gets a bit overwhelming but it's just been on the platform trying it and making it yours adapting it to your style I think Philip did it very well he talked about how he would he would spend five days on a TikTok just to make it as complex as his routines are usually are in a 15, 15 to 30 second video it's really it's, it's a great way to look at it it's 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 like anything when Facebook came out I was like this is bad take uh, Instagram this is that it, it's always gonna go on to the next thing so for that that's the end of this video let me know what you thought about this I know I usually drop dance videos but I'm trying to talk more so you can hear my voice but I think that's enough I'll see you on the next one have a great day